Didn't even make a noise. Evening. It's, uh, it's Wednesday, about 10.30 p.m. We're out in the barn, if you can't tell. Guys debating on making this video. Because I'm liable to get kind of pissed. I need to yell at somebody. I ain't yelling at y'all. But a guy just needs to fucking yell. Because I got some stuff and things going on. I made a, a video earlier about, you know, the Trump stuff and all that. You know, say hi to some of you new subscribers and stuff and things. And didn't get a chance to post it. And I kind of, you know, watched it. I'm like, eh, really dig it. So I said, fuck it. And he's like, oh, I'll do one tomorrow night. And uh, I'm not going to use any specifics. But I got a really, 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 really close family member that's in the hospital right now and it's doing a little rough and the guy's getting a little fucked in the head about it and uh talk to another family member that's you know obviously super close to said person and they're the ones that are going up there and visiting every day and shit because you know hospitals in new york you know only one fucking visitor at a time because that's fucking fine mm. they got some stuff and things going on and let me pause for a second I'm not doing this video for sympathy or whatever or prayers or whatever. I just need to fucking yell. So just let a guy fucking yell for a minute. Okay? Just hear me out. You new subscribers, I appreciate you. Welcome to the shit show because here it is. So said person is in a local fucking hospital, right? And they're doing the best they fucking can. The nurses are like, what? Maybe one, two, three to a fucking floor. They got one nurse. One fucking nurse on the goddamn floor that could administer shots for an entire fucking hospital. And this person needs to get a certain test done, right? We only got three people, I guess, in the entire fucking shit old state of fucking New York that can do this fucking test. But oh, not at this hospital. Sorry, huh? that's just unavailable here. So go fuck yourself, right? Meanwhile, we're not getting better. We're getting kind of worse. And the guy's starting to get a little bit fucking nervous about this horse shit. So, we're going to transfer said person, right? But now, now, we have to wait for an open bed, they say. Oh, we, we don't have any open beds. Fucking bullshit! You got fucking beds, you fucking cocksuckers. You don't have people to fucking work them. How about you tell the fucking truth? You fucking lying cocksuckers. Instead, let shit can 7,500, I think it was, doctors and nurses that didn't want to get an experimental drug shot into them just for whatever fucking reason. So now we're short-staffed at hospitals clear across this fucking state. And guess who's suffering from it? Not the fucking doctors and nurses that said, fuck that, I'm not getting that shot. They're probably fucking doing something else with their life. God bless them. But now, people that go to the hospital that need something done are getting fucked. For what? What are we fucking doing here? You motherfuckers. Fuck you, motherfucking. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. I fucking hate politicians. Fuck. All of them. Every single goddamn one of them. Democrat, Republican, any fucking politician that just fucking champion this fucking experimental fucking bullshit that they shove down America's fucking throats and force people to fucking get or quit your fucking job or this set of your fucking thing. Fuck you! Oh, damn it. Ooh, motherfuckers. Such fucking bullshit. So now we're just waiting. Just waiting for, I don't know how, you know, are we waiting for someone to just poof out of the fucking air and just show up to fucking work willy-nilly? I mean, the traveling nurses are fixing to fucking run south there pretty soon because the weather's going to turn shit up here. And by the way, last I heard, the traveling nurses don't need to get fucking juiced up. Fucking joke. Like Farmer says, do you get it now? Are you fucking getting it now? Everything's a fucking joke. And unfortunately, we have people that are going to be falling into the cracks and getting hurt. 
I ain't liking it. Not la not yelling at y'all. I just had to come out here and fucking yell. I already got my fucking voice is already shot. It's fucking God damn it. Fucking joke. All for a test. Then you know, certain hospital suggests to my family member, hey, maybe you should just take just just take him out of the hospital, take him home and then and then just, you know, just drive to another emergency room. Huh? That's what we're fucking doing now? So instead of like transferring from one hospital to the other, so they're basically have just played their cards. It's not about we don't have a bed available, it's just we don't have people available. But if you go to an emergency room, they're gonna be forced to admit this person. So maybe we should try that. What the fuck are we doing now? Are you fucking kidding me? Unfucking believable. God damn it. Fucking joke. Everything has turned to a fucking joke. This country is now a joke on the fucking, on the planetarial stage. In every other country, we're a fucking joke. This administration is a joke. Everything is a fucking joke right now. Prices of shit is a joke. It's almost like, it's so frustrating and so fucking infuriating, it's laughable. That's why I can't stop saying it's a joke. I mean, what else can it fucking be? <sighs> fucking stupid. So on the lighter side, appreciate you new subscribers. Welcome to the shit show. This isn't a normal video, but a guy's just fucking pissed. Because um, th there's no reason this should be happening right now. None whatsoever. <clears throat> And, uh, oh, yeah, again, to you new subscribers, appreciate you. Guy's about ready to trip over 700 subscribers, which we're almost there to the to the 1,000 mark where a guy can go live. That'd be neat, whatever, cool. Bitching so much, my cigarette went out. <sighs> so, yeah, that's what I got going on right now. Amongst the, y'all. Uh, I mean, shit. I don't know, name me one one profession where there's, you know, skilled people that isn't short on help right now because of said bullshit that happened. Or the repercussions that the politicians put in, you know, oh, here, we'll give you this much money to sit on your fucking ass and do nothing. Meanwhile, the whole fucking country fucking falls apart to shit because no one's doing nothing. I'm 47 and fuck years old. By the time I'm 50, I mean, I'm already probably, you know, if some of you new folks don't know what I do, I'm a contractor. And I'm already booked to the balls to like probably knee deep in snow. And I got myself and my lead guy. My one help guy I got, my youngest son, he's going off to college here this week. This is his last week with us. <clears throat> I've... Tried every other avenue that I've used in the years past to try to find new help. No one knows anybody. Before, there used to be a, a, a plethora, I guess that's the name, you know, the word you want to use, of young people that were looking for something to do, looking for money, looking for a job. You know, young kid that ain't quite smart enough for college, but, you know, got some common sense because usually those two don't mix anyway. Kids that got common sense don't belong in college. Kids with fucking brains. Luckily, my youngest one, he's got like a good mix of both. So it works out for him. I can't wait to hear all the stories about the liberal fucktards that are at that fucking school. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me that hospitals can't find him. But, you know, when you got prerequisites and what you got, what you have to have injected into your fucking body to work there. But meanwhile, you could test positive for said virus that you got said vaccine for and still go to work, then what the fuck are we doing? Again, everything is a motherfucking joke. Welcome to the shit show of America right now. Uh, and be like, oh, Jim, why do you drink so much? Oh, I don't know. No reason. Fuck it. I'm posting this one. 
So it's Wednesday night, 1030. Guy's out in his bar room screaming for about 10 minutes. Appreciate you all watching. Um, hopefully everything turns all right for said person, because if not, that's not going to be good for the fam. We'll talk to you later.